ways to switch here. Bring us on Photoshop tutorial, and this is actually episode number eight of Unknown Tutorial. So if you guys don't know what this series is all about, this is unknown styles or plugins that I use uh, that I give to you guys for you can like explore for your own and make your own styles or whatever. So this is actually a new plugin uh, for you guys for Photoshop called Topaz Clean Three. Uh, what this is is like extend. It's like extended filters for your Photoshop. Uh, this is really insanely clean, sexy, like exclusive filters for your Photoshop. Uh, so what you also do is you can actually save a preset. Uh, with the filter like in the plugin, so this is one of the save plugin uh, save filters that I have right here. Uh, you can really see how really insanely clean these freaking like these filters are. Uh, so if you don't know what filters are all about, uh, you either use them for like you know like uh, like finalization of your banner or using as a text style or a text setup or whatever. So you guys like you know when you use like Gaussian blur like kind of like smoothing everything out, make it nice and clean looking. So this is what you want to do is like have these these are what like a lot of these filters focus on, and Topaz Clean Three. Uh, so what you want to do? So I'm just gonna actually show you the on and off right here. This is what the this is with the off the uh, one of the filters that I made off, and then you put it on. Uh, like I said, it's a really really clean. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this this un like unfiltered layer, and I'm gonna put a filter on it. So we're gonna go to filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Clean Three, and it's gonna open up the client right here, Topaz Clean Three, and then you're gonna have seven presets to deal with right here to the left, and then you have this little preset of windows. So you can actually see the uh, what it, like the basic the basics of the preset. And then you actually have to the right the freaking three groups clean edges and group uh, clean edges and texture uh, to mess around with and like make your own settings and like customize it to your liking. Uh, so if you look at this window right here, you can see the presets. So you have cartoon, crisp style, curly smooth, degrunge, flat style, skin even, and then stylized details. Uh, so you can always just fully customize every single one of them. You can also make your own. Like I said, you can also save your own. So I'll show you guys how to do that. It's basically just basic real simple stuff, you know. Uh, so let's say if you want to use this plugin or use this preset and this plugin, uh, you can just go down to clean. You just play kind of like mess around with the settings. The threshold is like one of the main things you want to mess around with. This is like kind of the blurriness of it, kind of like how it like makes it all nice and clean. Uh, so just unhold, like unhide that, put this one up, and mess around with this stuff. Yeah, I mean you can mess around with this as much as you want. It's kind of like kind of show you what like what I'm talking about. So if you like, let's say if you had this like setting right here, and this is like one of the sexiest things you ever saw in your life, and you're like I want to save this and make sure I know I can go back to this setting. You just press save. Uh, name whatever you want to name it. You can put a description as what, whatever you want to put the description as. Press OK, and every time you open Topaz Clean Three, the plugin, and you're just gonna have the setting right here or the preset that you named, and then you're all set to go. You press on it. You press OK. It's gonna process, and that's gonna add the filter onto the layer, whatever you selected, onto the layer like so, and then you're autom like it's autom You're just done. Like so, these filters, like I said, they're really really focused on like making your banners look so so clean and sexy, and I can use it like on manipulations, if you want. Like I said. Anyways, uh, that's basically the tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.